Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say up front, I can't follow all these <laughs> folks because they got some great stories. But I'll do my best. Uh, I'm gonna follow this up and move around a bit. So, uh, as she mentioned, I work for Communities Unlimited. Previously, though, I worked for the Southern Rural Development Center, which y'all are familiar with. Uh, but just kind of give you a little bit about the work I'm doing. Uh, it's a lot more boots on the ground, hands on. Uh, I'm currently working on a USDA cooperative agreement. It's a uh, rural placemaking innovation challenge and armpit. You're going to hear us throw a lot, a lot of acronyms out there. I'll try not to do that. Uh, I'm specifically working with the town of Cahoma in Cahoma County. I'm working with the town of Hollandale. I'm working with the community of Gore Springs. And uh, in the framework of the RPIC, uh, what I'm doing is, number one, I'm building a diverse team. Uh, we believe that, it's, uh, that it should be community driven. You know, Russ is not gonna come into a community and say, you need to do this, this, and this, this. I'm more like a pathfinder for that community. Uh, we're gonna uh, look at internet access uh, to broadband, I mean, uh, more access to broadband. Uh, with Communities Unlimited, I should say that we are based out of Fayetteville, Arkansas. Uh, we're in seven southern states. Uh, attached to our, I'm a part of the community sustainability team, and attached to our team, we have a person that is, she's full-time broadband, uh, so I can draw on her to help my community uh, get that access or get that funding for their broadband. Uh, Another thing, we uh, uh, develop entrepreneurship. If there's some good ideas out there that need to be developed, we're, we are able to help them. We have an entrepreneurship team that works with them free of charge. Uh, we have a lending team that works with them as well. Uh, I'm kind of, our, as far as the community sustainability team, we're kind of like the tip of the spear. We get into a community and we see some needs and then we refer back to our uh, other teams. Uh, also, we want to uh, develop recreational activities. Uh, if there's, uh, for example, Hollandale, they've got a water tower that's leaking that's keeping them from uh, uh, using their ball fields. And so we've got to solve that first problem with water uh, tank, which uh, we have a huge environmental team that they work with water and wastewater in communities. And so I can draw on them as well. They help write uh, grants for these communities with USDA. Uh, and then finally, uh, we like to look at abandoned properties and maybe uh, try to develop them into, into pocket parks or community gardens. Uh, that being said, those are five roles, but uh, my marching orders, when I first started working with Communities Unlimited, uh, my boss said to go out and do good work. So if we see opportunities that not are necessarily tied in with that, I'm to pursue those. Uh, one of the things I said before I left SRDC and went, went to uh, Communities Unlimited, I, I told the person that was gonna be my future boss, I said, look, I said, I built all these networks. That's what I'm all about. I think, you know, I don't brag on myself, but one thing I'm good at is building networks. And that's what I hope y'all get to do here. Uh, but I said, can I take my networks? Will I be able to do that? She said, of course, that's what we're all about is building networks and collaborating. Uh, I'll give you a, an example of some collaboration. It, this kind of, and I, there's a longer story that we can talk about later on, on the side, but uh, I started to look uh, back up. We, uh, some of my teams out in Arkansas, Oklahoma, actually uh, did some GIS, GIS mapping of a tribal cemetery. I said, man, that's really cool. You know, people, loved ones are able to find out where their you know, loved one is buried. I, and then I started looking around at some of the communities in my uh, hometown, and it's African American uh, cemeteries that are getting like trees that big growing up in there. And so I said, you know, sure there's something we could do about that. Hollandale uh, has a, uh, for me, if you're familiar with Sam Chapman, he was a great bluesman. Uh, they have a cemetery there, and one of the things that their team is wanting to do is to give more visibility to Sam Chapman's grave. So I'm working with them. I started doing some research, and some of y'all might have heard of uh, Mount Zion Memorial Fund. Uh, they go and originally were like, uh, there were a lot of these bluesmen and blues women uh, memorials were like, you know, bad shape, the cemetery was in bad shape, so they took that funding and, and you know, uh, had a lot of, uh, uh, you know, re 
refurbishing. Uh, they're starting to expand that though, and they're uh, uh, actually looking at any kind of African American cemeteries, uh, churches, uh, community centers, or anything of uh, cultural significance. And uh, I reached out to them and said they've got a cool website. Uh, we're at, I'm actually traveling with uh, the vice president to Hollandale and Cahoma next week uh, to be able to tell them to tell their story. So it's one of those serendipitous type things that happens. Uh, but, um, uh, you know, th this is really where my heart's at. I love working for SRDC, uh, but I wasn't getting out into the community and doing what I really love, getting my hands dirty and just uh, listening to their stories and hopefully hearing their stories and being able to tell their stories to the broader uh, you know, world and to be able to get attention. And uh, it's just, I've I, I enjoyed my work. I've been working there since January. So not long, but uh, that's all my story. I'm sticking to it. I've got some <laughs> dirtier, grittier stories, but we can say it. <laughs>